UNCW took its first step towards a Colonial Athletic Association Championship Sunday afternoon, beating six-seeded Delaware 4 nothing in front of a home crowd at UNCW Soccer Stadium. Joined now by the head coach of the Seahawks, Paul Kearney, and coach. Four goals in the quarterfinals. Uh, the offense was clicking to end the regular season. It looks like nothing stopped for you. Yeah, it's, um, it's really enjoyable to watch as a coach. And I mean that in a sincere way that this team is is self-sufficient in so many ways that they've figured it out and, and we just kind of don't want to get in the way sometimes. I'm really happy for Maddie McCormick today. Uh, she's from Delaware, she got her two goals. It always means a little bit something special for her. Uh, so yeah, the Delaware are a good team and, and credit to them. It was a, a tight battle for most of the first half and I thought the second goal that we got just made a difference. You were able to get a lot of players in, and we've talked over the last couple of weeks about that experience and how crucial that is at this time of the year. But uh, having that bench come in and be able to get some quality minutes for you has to help going into a very tough weekend ahead. Yeah, um, not just in terms of rest for players, but for confidence for them. You know, we, we got some good players that coming off the bench that just don't have game experience, don't have match fitness. And there's no way you can get that without putting them in a match. So. I'm glad for, for some of those players, glad for, for Jenna and Anna to go on the assist and the goal and, and for Lindsay to finish off, I uh, thought it was great. Talk about big time players making big time plays and Maddie McCormick, two goals and an assist as you mentioned earlier. Uh, she has just come on late with six goals down her third, last three games. What has it been that has helped her be so successful, successful in the last couple of weeks? I don't know, um, I think she feels, she feels fitter than she's ever has. I think her confidence grows in every practice, every game. Um, I think her teammates look to her a lot and she realizes that with, with her high levels of performance, there's high levels of expectation. And I think she puts the team on her back sometimes, literally and, and figuratively, she puts the team on her back. And today was such a game. I mean, that first goal was so important. I mean, whoever scores that first goal just gets a little bit of breathing room and it was a great finish. Um, just, I'm so happy for her. Last question before we talk about next weekend, uh, protecting the home field. You guys go unbeaten at home during the season. First time in school history that's happened. How important was it to get a win on your home field today? Awesome. You know, these 12 seniors, uh, they can they can go off uh, with the graduation and know that they were the, the first team to stay undefeated at home um, in, their, in their senior year. And that's a great accomplishment. You take a school record 14 wins into the semifinals and face a William & Mary team you lost to in Williamsburg uh, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, what kind of matchup do you anticipate that being on Friday night? William & Mary are good. Um, they're ranked pretty high in the RPI right now, higher than us. But here's the key. We've, we've been active. We just played a game and they haven't. Um, we have to go up to New York with a good rhythm, same rhythm we've held, and try and jump on, on them early, score first if we can, and understand it's going to be a great game. I think their goalkeeper is one of the best goalkeepers in the league. They've got attacking personalities that are difficult to match up against, and they're extremely well coached. Probably one of the best coached teams in the country. And, and we know it's going to be a challenge, but I think our kids are ready for it. UNCW now 14-5-1. and one. They'll play William & Mary Friday night in the semifinals. Coach, thanks for the time. Congratulations on the win. Thank you.